Ziggity zig back with another. Don't shrug your shoulders at me. Look at that. He's had his lip curled up and everything. Back with another episode of Dungeon Crawl. No, I'm not editing that. And this time, this is another piece from the October 25th Extra Life. Here's my. Here's my wolf. I was trying to keep out of the shot. I'm very, I'm very tactful. And this is in the Caverns of Time. The next one we went to was the Black Morass. And so, as you can see, there's like little swampy things around here. So, on the map, uh, in, in WoW, with the Caverns of Time, you go back in time, obviously, to a zone that used to look like this. So, it no longer looks like this. I was thinking about going to the actual place now, because this was where you, um, the giant portal that now leads to the new expansion, it used to lead to an old expansion, that was built by a crazy wizard named Medivh. I just say wizard because it's too much work to go into everything else. And he did that because he basically wanted to summon in the armies of the orcs. This very first orcs versus humans, first Warcraft game, so you are going back to and I'm serious about this, help him summon in all the orcs and humans. Eh? <clears throat> I, think, I, I think we go into a big deal about this, but uh, joining me are Tom as our tank, uh, that guy Griff as our healer, Cro Crowbar, and Kung Fu and myself as our DPS, and we go in here. It's a, it's a cool little instance. It was really fun. What we tried to do uh, during the Extra Life 24-hour event for Griff, who has never played these games, is just make sure that we get to the instances. We didn't do all the dungeons, but we definitely did the dungeons that had just that little extra thing to them, you know. So we tried to show them all the different styles, and then we tried to show them all the fun ones. So this is Black Moraz. Enjoy the episode. There's a giant crocodile coming up behind me. It's okay. I don't think he saw me. Enjoy the episode. Alright, I don't know if res sickness affects... Healing ability? Oh, I, think, I think it does. So what you're saying you is me, we probably heal? shouldn't go anywhere for some. No, no, we minutes. can kill these guys. All these guys are. Uh, this is this is good timing. Oh, okay. We can we can kill this. Say, I, I I can't. I, I can't kill. Let me let me try this out on James. Let me see what happens. We just need to make sure we don't walk up to Medib. I don't remember how close you can get to him, or if you actually have to like talk to him to start it. But I think you just have to get close. This is kind of cool as an extension to the Swamp of Sorrows. Which is what the Black Mirage. You never done Black Mirage? No, I have, I've I've been here. I've done this like once before. I'm just commenting that it's cool. Oh, man. Are we killing anything in specific? Specifically? Not or really. No. We're just no, sort of making everything. our way to mid Indiscriminately. What it's we wanted to do... Do you see the... If you hit map... Where you see those three boss bits, yeah. those are kind of the three little peninsula slash islands that we want to make sure that there's no, none of none of these uh, mobs are on. So if we could clear those out, that's the plan. So we'll just kind of cut a straight line down there. But we can't get too close to Medivh. No, no. And Medivh is at the very bottom. You can see him there in front of the dark portal. Because the thing is, yeah, the, the Swamp of Sorrows, which we've uh, done things in the Sunken Temple before, it used to go all the way into the Blasted Lands because the portal... I'm aware. Okay, I'm aware. aware. I did so all the quests in the Swamp of Sorrows. I but done did that. But that's what we're going to come across, is the original Dark Portal, which is pretty sweet. Whoops. Is your res sickness bad, Crowbar? Um, it's a 75% penalty. Nope, not going closer. Just trying to clear out islands, so now we just gotta clear out to the west a little bit, I think. He wasn't talking to you, Ross. He's talking to me. Ah, you were getting closer? Yeah. So good news, I am at 425 of my $500 gold. Nice. Well done. Getting there. Getting there. Yeah. <clears throat> I I don't think I'm going to be able to to push anything else. That's cool. Beyond beyond what I've got, because I don't I don't really have anybody else in other other time zones that'll be. Well, somebody might come through, I guess, but mo most of my donations were, were local. 
I think, uh... Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, I think... I think we're already well past whatever we raised last year, so... We were just above a thousand last year? Yeah, I think so. Um, and I think our team earnings are much higher than that already. Yeah, it looked like we were... we were over 1400. So, yeah. All right, I think we're all cleared out. How's the red sickness going? Three minutes. Three minarets. Oh, I on already have three minarets. I think we have another. Did we clear out both sides? I did. Ooh, I found a jaguar. A jaguar. Uh, yeah. yeah. So. My, my friend Eli says congratulations on the on, on the work and progress so far. Yay! I know that he's uh, he was glad to to help out. Well, we are very fortunate to have good friends who will come and support our chicanery. It's true because this is something we would do even if it wasn't for a good cause. <laughs> it's nice that we have friends who believe us when we say we're doing this for charity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Believe us, a hundred dollars, and give us half price food. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's about time for another snowball. <laughs> I put mine in the fridge. Is she all right? Wait, what about these? <laughs> what about these other two tchotchkes here? What tchotchkes? Who are we engaging first? What are we doing? We will eventually okay. get close to Medivh. Yeah, no, once we get close enough to him. This is a good plan. I'm starting to get a little bit tired, but I know I'm going to get a second win once we go into Howling Fjord and it's all awesome and everything. This is, this is working out well. I remember last year I was doing okay until about hour 21. And then it was pretty brutal. Yeah. Well, that's that middle range part. I mean, geez, getting to level 35 and 40, yeah. and hitting tired then, that sucked. That was rough business. that's the business. boring part of, of leveling and yeah. doing stuff. Yeah. We wisely sidestepped that with endless dungeons. Yep. I don't even remember what ones we did. Nope. Doesn't matter. Are we ready to to do this? Close enough. 30, 30 seconds, close enough. Yeah, by the time he gets through all of his stuff. If not, I'll just spam more heals. Okay. Let me come join. So you can mount in here, and you will probably want to. Yeah. In order to run between the portals. Does it matter if it's a flying mount or a ground mount? Nope, you won't you be able can't. to fly. <clears throat> they you fly. cannot fly. Uh... You can still ride a flying mount, so don't worry about. See? You got a cool bear. Ready? Yep. Oh, wait. Uh, Honeydew needs to be hit, healed. This breast sickness oh. just wore off. I got it. Being the healer and all. Alright, let's do it. The time has come. Alright, so, if you turn around. There it is. You gotta look for these yellow swirls. And your horde will be released upon this ripe, unsuspecting world. Is it one at a time or Yeah. Yep. Ooh, dicks. Uh one elite and then non elites will still periodically pour out. So yeah, you'll wanna pull them over here a bit. Over here. Yeah, because here come here come the ads. Yeah, you want to be so you want to be kind of close, keep them by the portal mostly. Oh, they're not they're not too bad. By the portal. Yeah. We go. There we go. So now we head for the next one. It's not it's not on heroic mode. Oh. Victor, you're deaf. That's an orcish saying. Why are you saying that? This Rift Lord. 
I got him saying the sands of time shall be scattered to the winds. Oh, weird. Well, yeah, but then after that he says victory or death I on my screen. Hmm. We can look at the stream <laughs> in a moment. Clearly he's mm -hmm. from a time where orcs hadn't started saying it yet. Maybe he's the one that told the orcs to say it. Maybe. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, I've been expecting you. Ah. <laughs> Creepy ass Torrin. No rift. Pumpkin bag. I want one. Greater. Or, or you, or you can be the druid. Or you can be a freaking Leroy. Oh, You're welcome. He's over here. He's over here. <laughs> he's back in the last spot. Yep. Okay. So yeah, it's every six yep. waves is a boss. Yeah. That's all right. I can't really complain. I have a bunch of never, never weave bags. If I can get to, to Iron Forge before we uh, before we go, I can pick up my Nomer bag. It's kind of cool that the portals resemble a clock face. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> What were the heroics? We usually farm Tempest Keep heroics, right? I don't remember. I think we used to do Mechanar and Botanica mostly. Yeah, I remember a lot of Mechanar. I also remember a lot of, well, heroic wise, I do remember some of the lower ones like um, Seth. Well, yeah, you know, Akanai Crypt. Seth, Seth Halls we did. Yeah, we would do that one quite a bit. There were really, there were quite a few really good things in there. Uh, but I remember we avoided Black Morass, and we avoided Shadow Labs, and uh, and Architraz because they were just so freaking hard. I remember doing heroic Black Morass. It wasn't that bad. I used to tank it on my on uh, my warrior. Oh, that was a boss. Yep. I was paying attention. Okay, now you usually get a little bit of a break. Because we totally need one. Yep. <laughs> Used to need one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, everybody look for some the next time rift. Alright. Watch for it to stay. Time rifts opened. Seven. Medivh has brown eyes, apparently. <laughs> and I've never met anyone quite like you before. Do 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 do. Ooh, you got green eyes. Ooh, you got blue eyes. Ooh, you got gray eyes. New order? Nobody? All right. Never mind. Train spotting I soundtrack. I, I thought that was going to be the uh, the tragically hip song. She told me she didn't like hockey, and I've never heard somebody say that before. <laughs> something, something, Bobby Orr. Clever. Yep. This is uh, quite the. Uh... Yeah, jeez. It's quite the break. This used Man. to be a lot more badass. It it didn't it didn't want us to queue for this. It didn't think we were ready. I'm more like, bro, Do dude, we go somewhere dude, or dude, dude, nope. dude, bro. Like this is how long it takes. I, I just, oh, there we go. Take, yep. 
longer to kill the boss, so. We're just that awesome. Oh, I That's why I that said, like, when we hit 70, we could stand a very good chance of being able to actually five-man Kara. If, if we want to do that, because we, we, you know, talked it up so much. To all it, of our viewers. His first raid. <laughs> Didn't they kind of? I did my first raid. Up level Kara though recently. I don't, I don't know. No. We did molten core. I've already done my first raid. We didn't do molten core. We did. They did. Oh. Good. Now go do the fire that was, that was That was a bit of a of a letdown one though. I mean, I guess it was we we did say it was kind of cool, but it's not Kara. Kara's long. It's really not as long as you would remember. I mean, if we got kicked, if I, we got our asses kicked by the Huntsman, then I would say that would be a good mark to say, eh. Or if we hit Curator and could not do Curator, then that's... I, I wouldn't want us to, like, beat our heads against anything. All right. Uh, it would be. It, I think it would be worthwhile to experiment with it, especially since it's not that hard to to just get there, um, because we can fly and whatnot. Just go right through the, the dark portal or fly in from uh, from Stormwind. Um, but yeah, I think when we hit seventy, we 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 should give it a try. See what happens. Because like I can I can do it with my um, with my monk. I mean, obviously he's very high level, so he can like two hit some of the bosses. But like to actually move through the place, it's not. What's it's what not level gonna be is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be level seven. But okay. It's but supposed to be level people. seven, but for ten people. Okay. It it might be kind of fun. <laughs> I'm I'm willing to try it at least to either you know like the huntsman or the curator. I'm cool to go like until we wipe, like that's acceptable. Yeah. Um, unless it's a wipe that we think that we could do better. On. If 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 we get creamed, yeah, we'll just walk away because I don't want to. I wouldn't want to spend a lot of our time on it. But it's charism. There's. Can there's we a lot. even do Adamant? Because doesn't he? So you need two tanks for him. One person to tank his horse and one person to tank him. Not if the heels are hot. <coughs> uh. <laughs> hey. Now that everybody's losing me here. Circles. <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty of healers. Yeah, but then we, we have no DPS. Get, we, we can get James to. We can I'm get not exactly to. doing a lot of DPS here, so. You're up to. You're up. You're past your 450 from before. That's because I was resto uh, catting for a while. <laughs> so it it does make a difference. Ooh, this guy I'm hates back to, himself. Uh, I can steal it. I, I'm back to feral catting when during the break I switched yep. just to see what it would be like, and it's definitely. I think it's. I think I've gone down since. Are there are there I more, more... cooldowns cool and such that maybe you can pop or? I'm just I trying have to think more abilities, more abilities, but it's, I'm, it's, I have way more abilities, so I'm not waiting on cooldowns, but I'm just, I'm not doing anywhere near just the straight damage. Are we on a, what am I at now, Ross? 460, it's saying right now. And then that puts me in what place? Uh, just above Kung Fu, and just below Tom. So it's you, Tom, me, Kung Fu. My numbers say 822, Gremni 540, Talrador 460, mm -hmm. Kung Fu 434. In fact, wait a minute. I could just do bloody well this. Check it out just by um, by boss fight too. Quarter of the damage. Um. Right, I'm doing a fifth of the damage. That feels right in a five man. <laughs> Temperus. This was the most recent boss.
I don't get how the dark portal starts out looking like this and becomes to look how it currently looks. I mean, I, I you know, just beyond magic, <laughs> which <laughs> is an arguable excuse when the dark exactly. portal is involved. But um, I'm going to build something physical that's powered by the arcane. So its physical properties could change. And everyone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. Okay, okay. So a little, you know, light magic, and it can transport a bunch of mythical creatures from an alternate universe and galaxy. But <laughs> if you make it out of rock, the rock can't get bigger. I'm sorry. I just draw the line. Yeah. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, look, there's thorns in the side of this one, and there's not thorns in the side of the current one, so where did they go? Or did they just, just fall off and decay? But I mean, in the, in the current one, there's like a crater Ooh. here. So... I don't know. Whatever. Well, there's the answer. Medivh built a really huge one underground, so that when this one exploded, it just... Oh... Okay. Excavated okay. the real one. So I've been reading some forum threads uh -oh. on, on the Resto Kitty thing. In your spare time of doing a 24-hour WoW stream. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were and... just waiting for that bus to come. <laughs> While requesting a 15-minute break so you can go and do your dailies. I didn't request <laughs> a break to do dailies. No, you no, switched over to your Resto Druid to try to figure out what was going on with Druid damage, and now you've been reading up on things. You yeah. ask for breaks from the game to go and research the game. It's we, just funny. We had we had something. Th I was a raid leader for like four years. This is what I do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, apparently Resto Kitties do do an unusual amount of DPS for someone who is heal spec because of the way some of the talents and things that Resto Druids get interact with with cat form. So they do better damage than you would think a healing spec would be able to do, like compared to like a, a resto shaman spamming lightning bolt or trying to do like earth shocks and things like that. Um, cat for like actual feral, of course, still beats it out, but it is just a lot more competitive than it would usually be given other classes. Yeah, so like all those mages who could turn into cats, it's better than that. Yeah, Mage cat, cat form. form is for scrubs. Yeah, no one uses that anymore since since the patch. <laughs> <laughs> Prove me wrong. I'm glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad we're all experts. <laughs> God, how many shit lords are in this portal? A bunch. Well, we're 16 of 18, so we're almost done. I I think Steam Vault would be fun. I I'm certainly not opposed to it at all. It's either that or like Shattered Halls, and Shattered Halls is right. Shattered Halls isn't as fun as I remember it being. No. But Steam Vault is, I feel. Steam Vault was pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna have to beat it down to uh, beat it down to Mediv as soon as this guy goes down. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it. Get him back to Mediv to beat it. Run! Why are we doing Run, this? Forge, run, Forge! Run! Because it's Rift 18. Keep oh, the dark portal. The portal first, isn't he? Open all night. It doesn't matter. Infinite dragonfly, just beat it. Beat it. <laughs> oh, I'm stunned from like 80 feet away, you dick. Come on, Aeonius. What's he doing? 
And he's just kind of standing there. Oh, I'm stunned again. Oh, it's his stupid wave, his wing clap or whatever. Even think about it. We're good. We got him. Oh, like plates of the righteous. No, thank you. Trinket of the don't care. Nope. Dodge nope. Spirit. And nope. 